I've got a hard divorce truth for you that most lawyers are not going to tell you. Did you know your anxiety is not going to get every answer it wants during your divorce? And let me explain what I mean. So many times, especially early on in a divorce, when everything is new, everything is fresh, clients will come into our firm and they will want answers now. And they will email late at night and early in the morning and this thing happened and oh my God. And, and it may not be factually, objectively so, oh my God, this thing happened, right? It's new to them. It's a totally new experience. So like no judgment. I get why it feels so stressy. But the thing is your anxiety that you brought into this divorce is going to make demands on you that you cannot meet, your lawyer cannot meet, your X factor cannot meet, definitely the court's not going to meet. Because the way I think about what does anxiety feel like, and I'm going to admit to you, I'm not someone who, who struggles with like, you know, diagnosable anxiety. I just probably mean more like stressiness. That's how I relate to the feeling. Um, but whenever you're thinking about anxiety, to me, anxiety is urgent. Ugh, right now. I need to know right now. It's the sort of thing that makes you send an email at 11 o'clock at night that your ex-partner forgot to bring the water bottle, okay? Is they forgot to bring the water bottle really an 11 o'clock at night problem? Your reasonable, calm, cool, collected self knows that can wait until tomorrow or never 